For today we are going to discuss some laws of algebra needed to be understood in order to solve easily some algebraic problems. And one of those laws, the laws of exponents. In algebra, when you say a raised to n, your a here is your base and your m is your exponent. And what does exponent mean? It is the number of times wherein you are going to apply your base into the m value. For example, if your m is 2a squared, that means you are going to multiply your a two times. So that's a squared is equal to a times a. Also in algebra, the letter x is commonly used as an unknown or a variable. In algebra, we do not use the multiplication sign x as a symbol of operation in algebra. You know why? Because if you are going to multiply x times x, you have three x's already. That means x times x times x. Whereas you have only x squared, that means you multiply x twice only. So in algebra, we do not use the multiplication sign as a symbol of operation. Instead, we use the period as a multiplication symbol. So that will become x times x. Okay? Or the parenthesis x multiplied by x. Or x multiplied by x. So you can have your multiplication in three ways. x multiplied by x using the period as a multiplication symbol. You can use the parenthesis. Likewise is the parenthesis. So that is clear. In algebra, we, we seldom use the x as a multiplication symbol in algebra. For a start, as I have mentioned, your x raised to n means your x is your base and n is your exponent and your n represents the number of times you're going to multiply your x with itself okay so that is clear so that if you have x squared you're going to multiply your x times x or if you have x cubed you have x times x times x and x to the fourth you have x times x times x times x so that's the meaning of your x raised to n. Your n denotes the number of times you're going to multiply your x with itself. So let's take rule number one for laws of exponent for multiplication. And, and let's take letter a, product of the same base. If you have your x raised to n times x raised to n, your common base is x. That means they have the same base. So the rule is, you multiply your x and then add your exponents, n plus n. 2 squared times 2 raised to the third power. 2 squared multiplied by 2 to the third power. That is, you have your common base, that will be 2, and then you add their exponents, 2 plus 3, and that will become... 2 raised to the fifth power. Now, in an arithmetic, that is not yet your final answer. That means you are going to multiply 2 5 times. Okay? That will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? So let's multiply 2 raised to the fifth power. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. And times 2 is 32. So, 2 raised to the 5th power is equal to 32. Example number 2, say you have x squared times x to the 5th power. You have your common base, which is x. And then you add the exponents, that will be 2 plus 5, that will be equal to x. 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, so x squared multiplied by x to the fifth power equal to x raised to the seventh power. Okay, let's check example number three. Okay, 2m 
times 3m square times 3m cube. You have here a common base which is m, okay? 2m, 3m, and 3m. So what you're going to do is to multiply this, multiply this with this. So multiplying this, we can use the period as a multiplication sign or the parentheses. So we can use the parentheses that will be, you will, we multiply this, this, and this. That will be 2 times 3 times 3. And then we have your common base, which is m. And then m, m is the same as m raised to the first power. Okay? So this, this m is, has a power of 1. So you have 1 plus m squared, so that will be 2, and then m cubed plus 3. That will be equal to 2 times 3 is 6, times 3 is 18, and m at the powers 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6. So that is the law of exponent for multiplication with the same base. Now let's take the second law under law of exponent for multiplication. That is power raised to a power. That means you have x raised to a power of m raised to n. That is what is mean by a power raised to a power. And as a rule, okay, that will be xm times n. Okay, don't forget that. It will be x, m times n. So, do you know the difference? In number one, you have, so the product of the same base, you just add the exponents. But here, a number raised to a power raised to a power. That means, you are going to multiply the exponents. Example number one, if you have 3 squared raised to the second power. Okay, the rule says you have to multiply the exponents that we have 2 times 2 that will be equal to 3 raised to the fourth power. So again, in mathematics, that is not yet your final answer. Yeah, that means you have to multiply 3 by itself 4 times. And that is 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. That means 3 squared raised to the second power is 81. Let's take another example. That will be 5 squared raised to the third power. Again 5. You multiply the exponents. 2 times 3 is equal to 5 raised to the sixth power. If you are going to do the long calculation, 5 multiplied by itself 6 times is equal to 15,625. That is 5 squared raised to the third power is equal to 15,625. Now let's do the algebra way. You have x cubed raised to the fourth power. So you have x multiplied exponents 3 times 4 is equal to x raised to the 12th power. x cubed raised to the fourth power is equal to x to the 12th power. So that is how to do your law of multiplication using power raised to a power. Now, let's take law number 3, that is product raised to a power. Okay? Product raised to a power. That means x, y, the product of x and y raised to n. Okay, that will be, okay, x, y is understood that that is x raised to 1 and y is raised to 1. That means you are going to multiply the power of x with your exponent m. We multiply the exponent of y with 
your exponent m. So that will be x to the power of 1 times m and multiplied by y, power of y is 1 multiplied by m. Okay, so that will be x, m, y, m. The product of x and y raised to the power of m is equal to x raised to the power m and y raised to the power m. Okay, let's take example number one. If you have the product of x and y raised to the third power, that will be equal to x, 1, multiplied by the exponent 3, and y, 1, multiplied by the exponent 3, and that will be equal to x raised to the third power, and y raised to the third power. Okay, let's take example number 2. If you have the product of a, b squared, raised to the fourth power. Your a has an exponent of 1, so that will be a, a raised to the first power, multiplied by the exponent 4, multiplied by b squared, b squared times your exponent, which is 4. That will be equal to 1 times 4, that is 4, will be a raised to the fourth power, and then b, 2 times 4 is 8, so that will be b raised to the 8 power. The product of a and b squared raised to the fourth power is equal to a raised to the fourth power, b raised to the 8 power. Okay, so you multiply the exponents. Okay, example number 3. We have x squared y cube raised to the fifth power. So that will be multiply x 2 times 5, it will be 2 times 5 and y 3 times 5. 3 times 5 will be x raised to the 10th power and y 3 times 5 is 15. Okay? So the product of x squared y cube raised to the 5th power is equal to x raised to the 10th power, y to the 15th power. That is our lesson for today. The law of exponent for multiplication. This is just for a start. On our next meeting, we will discuss the laws of exponent for division. Meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that you will be updated when new videos will be uploaded. This is Mr. Math Techniques, and thank you for watching.